What's poppin' fangoons? Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new here, go check out my other videos, check out my playlist, and consider hitting that sub button and become a member on the block. I know my hair is jacked, I just got out of the shower, so cut me some slack. Many of you may know, but many of you probably don't, our boy Ski Mask of Slump God dropped an album. Well, not really an album, it was a mixtape called Sin City, like a week and a half, two weeks ago. And with this album, my boy dropped merch. Now, I ain't trying to be the one to say his merch was harder than his album, but I'll be the one to say his merch was harder than his album, you feel me? Ski dropped five new pieces of merch. To me personally, there are some bangers in here. So, let's take a look at them. Hey guys, so the first shirt we got here is a black shirt with the album cover on it. And me personally, I've never liked shirts with album covers on it type deal, so I'd have to pass on this one. Now that shirt's gonna run you about 35 bucks. So on the back, it has Sin City, Ski Master, Slump God, the mixtape in red. Now, I like the back of the shirt more than I like the front of the shirt, to be honest with you. I think the red and the black goes good together. Um, shit, I think that alone on the front would have looked cool, in my personal opinion, of course. This next shirt, we got Shorty and Six Inch Pumps, you feel me? It says, Lost in Time Gentlemen's Club, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week in red. Now, I like this shirt. The only thing I don't like is the Sin City on the picture because it kind of like, to me personally, it kind of like throws it off a little bit because it's a different font and it reminds me of kind of like, I don't you know, like a grocery store kind of font. So I'm not digging that, but I think this shirt is hard even with that on there. All right, so on the back of the shirt, we got Ski Mask the Slump God in a bullseye. I don't want to say basic, but simple, and I'm going to be real, I like that. That shirt there, that's going to run you about 3.5. Alright guys, let's keep it moving, and to be real, the next piece is probably my favorite piece in this whole collection. Alright, so the next piece is a black long sleeve, and it says the Slump Gods Gentlemen's Club Lost in Time, really small at the bottom. We got a girl in all red doing her thing on the pole and it says open 24 7 with sin city and neon lights me personally i really like this design because at first glance it really does look like a business shirt all the colors go together really well and it really just kind of pops now this is just a long sleeve and it's gonna run you about 50 bucks now a 50 dollar long sleeve is kind of expensive in my personal opinion also so i think it would have been better for your like money's worth if it was a crew neck if it was a crew neck you know what i'm saying at least it's somewhat of a sweater i think that would have been a really lit crew neck especially for 50 bucks again i think 50 dollar long sleeve for somebody's merch i don't know i'm thinking that's kind of pricey it says ski mask the slump god in the bullseye again we got sin city paint and spray and then very small under that we have bumper and collision repair i'm not hating i'm just giving my opinion i don't really like this sin city font on this jacket he used it earlier too and honestly not a big fan but let's move on to the back on the back in all red we have sin city paint and spray collision and frame repair with a drop top with the toll free number 888 ski mask and the location is outskirts of sin city i don't know if you guys have ever like seen the movies or read any of the comics but it really keeps the theme of what kind of like sin city is all right guys with all that being said this jacket's gonna run you about 65 bucks now we all know that hoodies can range up to like ridiculous prices so me personally i don't think it's that bad but you guys let me know down in the comments if you know like the long sleeve was 50 this is 65 let me know if you guys are thinking that this is a little bit too steep for his merch all right guys the next piece is a zippo lighter it's all black with sin city in red now i'm gonna be real i've owned zippo lighters before they are all hype to be completely real with you and this is 40 bucks do not waste your money on this so we're just gonna keep this moving along i love when people drop merch and they drop hats with their merch 
All right, guys, now the next piece is a mesh hat, and I really like this a lot. This is honestly probably my favorite piece out of the whole thing. Um, I think the Sin City font works good here. I think it pops with the white background. I like the smashed up car, uh, also red. I love, obviously, I really like red a lot. You know, red and black obviously pop. White and black obviously pop. Anything on white obviously pops. This car has been through hell. The front end is completely smashed. We got a flat tire, a broken windshield. I just like how subtle it is. Again, I like how you wouldn't really be expecting this. I really like this merch. I mean, mainly the long sleeve and really this hat, but I think I might cop this hat so we might be seeing an unboxing of this. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I felt like all these designs were kind of unexpected and I really like that. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hit that like button and of course hit that subscribe button to stay tuned with what I got going on and all the videos I drop. And that's all I got for you guys today. Keep it 100 in the streets. Come whatever you want. But baby, just don't call the cops. Peace. He also had his album to download for like 8 bucks. But if you got like any streaming service at all, you don't need that. So I forgot to include it. But peace out.